So the next step in PROACT is alternatives. These are your options. What are your different types of decisions that you can make? This is the reason why we focus on objectives and performance measures in the first place, because we want to make a really tough decision, we have multiple choices, and we want to be able to assess those choices. Being able to define what choices are reasonable for the particular problem that we're trying to solve is one of the most difficult pieces. And one of the reasons that we start with objectives first is that if we start with what we care about, oftentimes that means that we can think of even more options that may be reasonable for us to consider as part of our uh, management actions. This idea is called value-focused thinking. It's been shown time and time again, starting first with what you care about allows you to think more creatively about different ways that will allow you to achieve your goals and objectives. One of the things is, is that oftentimes these alternatives and options are defined by the decision makers. So it's oftentimes not within the purview of ecological forecasters to be thinking about the options and alternatives, but it's really useful to understand how they might be constructed. So you ideally would want to test those options within your ecological forecast. Even though the various options that are considered for various management problems are oftentimes defined by decision makers, the scenarios or understanding what might happen in the future is oftentimes a place where scientists can help make sure that we're thinking about future conditions in a way that is transparent and defensible. This ends up coming into play because if we're thinking about options, one of the things that's really important to consider is the time frame of your decision. That affects how you design your ecological forecast. Do we need to know something for the next week, next season, next year, next five years, next 20 years? Those are all really different problems. And when we think about scenarios as part of alternatives, part of what we're talking about in that context is what information you would need to know in order to make reasonable assumptions for slightly longer time periods. That then allows you to incorporate that information effectively into decisions as well as to effectively incorporate it into your ecological forecast as boundary conditions so that you can set the same boundary conditions even though you're testing different options or alternatives.